Let's learn Japanese with Nihongo Kansha. This video will be about existence and presence of things and people using the verb arimas and imas. Okay, so we're going to be talking about things like there is something over there. I have something. Things like that. So, arimas is like the verb to have in English. So, we're going to be talking about things that exist, people that are in certain places, and so on. So, to get started, let's first consider the first point. That is, when we talk about existence in Japanese, so we have to be aware of what are you talking about. Is it a thing or is it a person? Okay, so there's a difference there. So, there's one verb for things. Which is arimas, aru, and there's another verb that you use for people, and that's iru, imas, when conjugated. Okay? So keep that point in mind. Now, as I was saying, so things, you're gonna use the verb aru. Okay? When conjugated, it's arimas, becomes arimas. Okay? So for things, arimas. Now, for people, you're going to vote the verb iru, okay? When conjugated, becomes imas, okay? So, for people, imas. Now, those are the two most important things that you should remember. Now, for the next two points, there's just some details about, first, what comes before that verb, those verbs that we're going to use, okay? So, we're going to use the particle ga right before aru or iru, okay? Use the particle ga, not wa, but ga. So, whatever ga aru, or whatever ga iru, okay? Now, the other point is, if you're talking about uh, some something that exists in some place, uh, for example, there is a library over there as we're going to talk about an example. So you're going to use ni right after that place of reference. If I'm talking about over there, so I'm going to say over there, ni, whatever, right? Okay? So use ni right after the place of reference. We're going to see in the examples that follow how these things work out, so don't worry. Okay? Now for each example that's going to follow, I have the first example is all in in kanji. I try to use as many kanji as possible. And then if you cannot yet read the kanji, then there's also a hiragana only version of the example. And if you cannot he read hiragana, there's a romaji version, okay? Now, when talking about things, that's what we're going to focus right now. Use the verb aru to talk about existence or presence of things, right? So let's see the conjugation. Aru becomes arimas when conjugated in the affirmative form, okay? So from aru, arimas, aru, arimas, okay? Now for negative form, so you can go from arimas to the negative directly. Arimas becomes arimasen, okay? Instead of arimasu, you say arimasen to make it negative. Now, if you want the dictionary form of the negative, which I wrote right here, is nai, just so you know. So, aru, nai, arimas, arimasen, okay? Now, let's work through some examples. Okay? So, the first example here. Asoko ni toshokan ga arimasu. So, asoko means over there. Ni particle indicating that this, whatever we're talking about, is going to be exist asoko, over there. In this case, it's toshokan, which means library. Okay? So notice, library, toshokan, ga, arimas. So there is a library. Now the place where we say, asoko ni, 
over there, okay? So there is a library over there. So there, it's an existence. That library exists over there. It's there. It's present there. Okay, so asoko ni toshokan ga arimasu. Now let's work through another example, the second one. So, kono machi ni gakko ga arimasen. Okay, so kono machi. Machi means city. So, kono machi, this city or this town. Ni gakko school ga arimasen. Here we are using the negative form. Right? So, we're saying there's not, there are not schools, there's not a school. In this town. So there are no schools in this town, right? We're saying, Kono machi ni in this town, Gakko ga arimasen. There's no school in this town. Notice, always ga arimasen, ga arimas, okay? And then we're talking about. The school being present where in this town. So we use kono machi ni, particle ni. Okay, not the particle de. Don't use de, okay? Use ni. Asoko ni toshokan ga arimas. Kono machi ni gakko ga arimasen. Okay? Asoko ni kono machi ni. Don't use de. All right, so let's move on. We're going to talk about some examples on ownership. Okay, the first one, say you don't have a car. How would you say that? So you can simply say, kuruma ga arimasen. So kuruma means car. Okay. Ga arimasen. So literally means there's there's no car. So which is in this context we're actually talking about ourselves, which I put right watashiwa here, which is actually not it's usually omitted. You don't have to say watashi wa kuruma ga arimasen if it's known from the context that it's referring to you not having the car. Okay? So kuruma ga arimasen. I don't have a car, so there's no car. Okay. Now let's move on. So next example is asking a question to somebody else. Like asking, do you have some time? Do you have time? So time is jikan, jikan. Okay. So again, I'm omitting the subject. And I'm just saying jikan ga arimasu ka? So I'm asking a question. So time, do you have it? Do you have time? So is there time literally? Is there time? Jikan ga arimasu ka? So in this context, I'm referring to the person I'm talking to. So I'm asking the question too. Anata wa, anata wa jikan ga arimasu ka? Okay, but it's implicit. So we don't have to say anata wa. And also, anata might sometimes be rude to say that. Uh, so, one more time. Jikan ga arimasu ka? Do you have time? Okay. So, the next example is about events, okay? In this case, uh, we're talking about things that are going to take place. Say you have a test. On Thursday, so you could say, Mokoyobi ni testo ga arimasu. Arimasu, okay? So, Mokoyobi, first word, means Thursday. So, since we're talking about time reference, we have to use ni, okay? This is ni is for the time. In this case, is not a place, but a time. So, ni, in this case, is always tied to this time reference. And then, testo test or exam ga arimas so there is the test on Thursday so there will be a test on Thursday mokuyobi ni 
テストがあります。OK? 木曜日にテストがあります。There will be a test on Thursday. Always があります。があります。OK? Next example. Say, uh, uh, tomorrow your teacher will be absent, so there will be no class. So, no English class tomorrow. You can say, 明日は英語のクラスがありません So, 明日 is tomorrow. So, 明日は saying tomorrow. 英語のクラス English class. がありません。There won't be. There will be no English class. So, there is not English class tomorrow. Okay, so, 明日は英語のクラスがありません。There will be no English class tomorrow. Again, we have the time reference. English class, not be. There won't be. There is no English class. Okay, 明日は英語のクラスがありません。Alright. Now, next session, we are going to learn how to talk about people using the verb imasu.